What would you do? My ex's boyfriend is a monster and she doesn't know. Last year my wife decided out of the blue that she didn't want to be married anymore. She gave me the usual lies about how she just realized she preferred to be on her own to focus on her career and to be open to new experiences with new people. We had never stopped saying I love you. I would have done almost anything for her and I trusted her completely, no jealousy. I soon found out she had started sleeping with a coworker. This man played a big part into talking her into doing what she did. I never told her I found out, it wasn't going to help in the divorce, it probably only would have made things harder. Once I knew she cheated there was no way I wanted her back. On my bad days I'd look into just who this man was. I eventually came into contact with one of his ex-wives he's had multiple failed marriages. She described him as an absolute monster. He beat her, manipulated her, and cheated on her multiple times. Hell, he was cheating on his current girlfriend with my ex. She confirmed every fear I had about the guy and now I find myself in a dilemma. I avoid my ex whenever I can. Thinking about her it all fills me with anger and sadness and despair. She betrayed my trust so thoroughly that it hurts to even type about. But I don't want harm to come to her. This guy seems truly dangerous and she never bothered to vet the guy at all. I've debated so much whether or not to tell her what I've found out. Or to tell someone close to her like her older brother. But for all I know that could just make it worse. And I don't want to betray the trust of the man's ex and paint a target on her back, either. But if that bastard hurts her I also don't think I could forgive myself for staying silent. What would you do? Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1. This isn't a situation where you should do anything. You weren't approached by this person you went fishing. There's no guarantee that this person's story is true. There's no sign that this person wants to talk to your ex, either. You are setting yourself up to be a link in a chain of what might be nothing but malicious gossip. If the new guy's ex wants to warn his next victim, that's up to her. If she has no way to contact your ex and wants one, maybe you can provide an email address. That's the farthest I would consider going, but your place in all this is to get out of it. You have no connection to that man, your ex would have no reason to believe you or to even listen to you, and yes you would necessarily betray the privacy of the woman who confided this to you if you take it on yourself to get involved. Your ex cheated on you and dumped you. If she needs rescuing, she'll ask for it from someone else. Whatever your intentions, to research the background of her new boyfriend up to the point of interviewing an ex's stalking, and will definitely not endear you to her. Worse yet, hearing this from you might backfire and make her less likely to see it. People tend to double down when they get a message from the wrong messenger. Believe me, it's not that I don't sympathize. I've been in a very similar situation. But you have to let people go, and you have to let them make their own mistakes. You can't protect someone who doesn't want your protection. Op answer, this has been what I've been thinking for the most part. You are right, it won't make anything better for anyone. Thanks, Redditor2, let karma do her work. Two years later, update, the guy you cheated with cheated on you? We had just bought our first house together and had frozen the embryos for our future children at her insistence. She never stopped saying how much she loved me and how lucky she was. I did the same, adored that woman. Then suddenly I wasn't enough for her, and she insisted on a divorce, saying she didn't want to be monogamous anymore. I came to find out soon after that she was having an affair with a co-worker. I came across their messenger chat and saw all the horrible things she said about me, and how excited she was to about it all. This was the complete opposite of the person she'd be around me. Reading that stuff was probably the most traumatic moment of my life at that point. Seeing the pure betrayal from the only partner I'd ever loved still hurts to the core. I came to find out by accident two years later, that she was still with a guy. And they bought a house together we had to sell ours since neither of us could afford it on our own. I also found out the guy was 10 years older than her, thrice divorced, and according to one of his exes, a serial cheater and physically abusive. But of course I couldn't say anything because it wasn't my place at that point. We were divorced now. And our embryos were thrown away. We had names picked out and everything. I still feel sick when I see couples that look like we did with their kids. Then recently a friend shared a screen cap from her Instagram, 
She was calling out the guy for cheating on her with multiple women. She apparently deleted it quickly, but it was cathartic to see her get to feel what I felt. It must have been pretty bad because she was never the kind of person to go on blast like that. Who would have thought a guy like that would turn out to be a scumbag cheater? Most people don't know that he was the guy who convinced her to leave me. They just offered their support and told her how amazing she was despite what that mean guy did to her. Makes me feel ill. Redditor's reactions with another Redditor's story. Redditor 1, 2 things, 1. Trashy people make classy people trashy, it never really works the other way around. 2. Cheaters are fake liars, that's what they do. I don't care what type of cheater how long they've been married male female tall short or what race they are, they all lie, come home to their sows and act like everything is wonderful, that is fake, even if there's guilt and an eventual confession or an immediate confession they still broke vows, it's who they are. Redditor follow up, your first point really blew my mind. Wow. You're so right. I can see how I've become less over the years but he has never become more. Wow. Redditor 2, I know there's a bit of scat and Freud in it for you. Her situation was predictable. You won. You're not with some pantomime of the real thing you thought you had. Keep on living your best life. It's the best revenge. You're really lucky in hindsight. Redditor follow up, agree with all that. But please, please don't think about entertaining listening to her when she comes crawling back. Be prepared with what you might say if you're efforts to talk with her. Besides laughing in her face, that is. Redditor 3, I think this is actually pretty common. If you knowingly are hooking up with someone who you know is in a committed relationship, then I think that says something about your character. If you're willing to date someone who you know cheated on their partner multiple times, I think that also is a red flag. Kind of shows that you're okay with this behavior in a way. It would be different if the AP didn't know of course. Redditor 4, I can kind of relate to that small glimpse of how did it feel huh? Not exactly the same. But my ex was my high school sweetheart. Together from 15 to 31. Originally I was suspicious of one particular coworker and it took a long time to get proof. When I did I was suspecting he was ending it with her and starting with a new co-worker. I was right. And I found a few other things from before he started the affair with the original co-worker. Their affair lasted 2.5 years. It started slow so it did take me a while to catch on and become suspicious. So that was the first time we split up. I was pregnant with our third. We tried again when she was 5 months old. A medical emergency for me and a sob story from him on top of my guilt I had about having a new baby and her dad not there is why I caved and tried again. Lasted 3 months before I found out he had never stopped and found way more evidence going back most of our relationship. That was it for me. We haven't been together since. That was over 2 years ago. But at the time he just moved next door BC he was friends with the neighbor. So that was awkward. So now to the point. Our pharmacist started coming by almost daily. At least every other day. And I checked our call log since he was still on my phone plan. They talked all day long. I knew it meant he was seeing her. Which I just thought was so essity. 1 BC he was doing this where I had to watch her coming and going every day. And 2. Yup, you guessed it. She was married. So not only did he ruin ours he doesn't care about others either. He kept lying saying they were just friends and she was trying to help him through this tough time. BS. Eventually she found out I was upset about the fact he was parading her in and out and was being told they were just friends she apparently thought I knew and was okay with it since I ended things. But I mean come on it's still disrespectful and she decided to knock on my door and confess it all. So a few weeks later he asked me if I had sent a letter to her husband outing them. It was a handwritten letter telling him all about their affair. I was like well you know I considered it but unfortunately it looks like someone beat me to it so no I did not. And he let it go. I didn't find out until later that he had sent her husband the letter. Apparently he was so upset that she wouldn't leave her husband for him that he thought if he sent the letter with a bunch of details and telling him what to look for in her phone etc. That her husband would be so mad he would just leave her right then. And then she would have no choice but to be with him. Jokes on him though. 
They decided to work through it and she blocked him on everything so she could focus on her husband. I didn't find out until after this it all happened so at the time he had just told me they ended things amicably BC he decided it was wrong to continue doing this and ruining their marriage after what he did to ours. So when I found out the truth I couldn't help but feel slightly happy that he got a taste of his own medicine. All the girls who expected him to leave me BC he kept stringing them along. Until they ended up heartbroken. And him finding out at least a little bit of how I felt but on a much smaller scale. But it was short lived BC it still pained me that not only did he have no concern for our marriage, he was out here ruining others marriages too. Unfortunately it was not the last time I found out he was messing with people who were either married or engaged, I'm so sorry you had to go through this. No one deserves it. But it does get easier as time goes on. You never forget but you do learn to put it in the past and move forward. I think the hardest part for me was that our entire relationship every time a female relative or friend would come to us BC they were cheated on he would sit and tell them how amazing they are and they don't deserve this. How they could do so much better and deserve to have someone there who loved them and wouldn't hurt them. I mean to the extent of starting stuff with the guys sometimes BC of how they hurt these girls. Then to find out later he cheated pretty much the entire relationship made me feel so worthless. Like so I wasn't amazing? I didn't deserve someone who loved me and didn't want to hurt me? I wasn't worth someone choosing me and being faithful to me? Why? What is so wrong with me? It took me a long time to get past that part. And figure out that I wasn't worthless. And that this was a problem with him not me. So I hope you find peace and happiness and everything you deserve. We just have to keep taking things one day at a time. Sorry for the novel. Redditor follow up, he chose you because you're amazing. He weaponized your trust and love against you.